my grades aren't looking very good because I keep thinking about a bird in the library. I need to work harder to recover before finals. And so I sat studying in the library while one by one the other students fled out to go home. When I look up, I'm alone. Or am I? <laughs> exactly. My, how unusual. I think this is the first time you sit down next to me, Nageki. Oh my god! Oh. Still cold and silent. I want to talk to you. Oh, his music's come back. That's how you know I'm making progress. You're nothing but surprises today. I'll leave you alone if you're busy. No! Talk away! I was shocked when you first came to talk to me, Miss Scoppy. You're the only one who didn't ignore me. No one but you has ever talked to me. That's why this is the only place for me. That's that's terrible. Nageki, that's awful. Which class are you in? I'll talk to our teacher. I'm not done talking yet. <sighs> Ooh. Sorry, go on. You think I'm being bullied, right? I thought that too. Oh. You, you're not? I don't think so. Being bullied might be better than this. Whoa. Better than this? So what is he? I'm not sure yet, though. When you talk to me, I, I remember things sometimes. But it's still not enough. I don't understand. What do you mean? Miss Scoppy, I think I... I think I'm... What? Oh, what a... You think you're what? Miss Scoppy, you're here late. Uh. Sir! The school's already started to close for the night. It's good to study, but working too hard on your own for too long can backfire on you. Lock the door and head home soon, okay? Oh shit, on your own? Oh my god. Oh my god. So what are you talking about? I'm not a... Huh? Nageki's gone. He was here just a moment ago. Where did he go? Did he leave out of a window and go home ninja style? This girl's obsessed with ninjas, by the way. <laughs> oh my word. I think Nageki's a ghost. I'm calling it now. Nageki is some kind of spirit because nobody else can see him. And being bullied would be better. Oh my god. We get our finals back today between midterms and practice exams. All I can think about is the fact that my boyfriend is a ghost. Scoppy! Sir! Blah blah blah! Blibbity blee! <sighs> there is some shit going on in the library! Oh my god. Oh my god, this is spooky. This is spooky. It's nighttime in the library. I don't want to be in my workplace at night or at school at night. That's fucking scary. Closing time already. I really don't have any reason to be here again until the semester starts up. Oh no, it's snowing. Oh, is that snow coming through the window or something? Oh my god. I like how there's still bright light. It looks like they've just taken the daytime picture and put a dark purple filter over it, which is fine. It was clear when I left. Crossing the wilderness to get to my house in a blizzard, I'd be risking my life. You're still here? Oh my god. Oh, Nageki! A book under his arm. His arm. Uh huh. The same as always. Oh my god. This music. Oh god. I do wonder about last time, but if he wants to talk, then he'll talk to me. For now, I won't bring it up. Oh, it's silent night. I'm going to turn the music up so you can hear as well. I was about to go home, but... Snow? Mm-hmm. I guess I'll just have to wait until it stops. <gasps> he makes a noise of agreement and sits down next to me with his book. He's been a little distant lately. When has he not been distant? But maybe he's warming up to me in his own way? What are you reading? Dickens. A Christmas Carol. Oh, it's Christmas Eve today, isn't it? Please keep quiet. <laughs> Please keep quiet in the library. Sorry. I completely forgot. I guess this makes it a white Christmas. More like a white out Christmas, if you ask me. Looks like you're almost finished. Yep, just got to the part where Tiny Tim dies and Scrooge sees his own grave. <laughs> that sounds like a depressing story. You haven't read it, even though you work here? I'm... B whoa. <laughs> I'm Buddhist, so Christmas stuff has never been... Tim is a boy born weak, who dies young. 
the protagonist, Scrooge, sees that that will happen and tries to prevent it. Time travel? I thought it was a classic, but it sounds like kind of science fiction-y. I can see that. It's not really the focus of the book, though. I'd like to see the future. It would be nice to be able to avoid getting into trouble. I wouldn't like it. No? The future is what it is. It is what it is. And that's all there is to it. Oh, and so we enjoyed the present point in time along which we flowed. Oh, gosh. This is a nice way to spend Christmas, I think. Probably nicer than being in a cave. The sun! <laughs> its majestic brilliance sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. It's the first day of the new year. Looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. Ah, when it was the new year in my last playthrough, it was raining. How interesting. It's a little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is still warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. There are a lot of birds here already. It must be nice to have warm winter plumage. Maybe I could borrow some from somebody. What are you, how are you going to do that, you mad woman? I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. Ooh, look! Oh my god, Ryuta is wearing another cute thing! Oh, Flora! What? Happy New Year! Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Ryuta? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Uh-oh! It looks good on you. You came here to buy an amulet, right? Which would you like? Um, I'd like one for... Fulfillment in school, fulfillment in art, fulfillment in conquest. Oh, gosh. Um, that is... That's a tricky question. What could be the right answer in my situation? I mean, this might not refer to Nageki, although I guess... Nah, I, I think it should. Let's let's do fulfillment in school. Because we're in the library, so maybe that's the one. Thanks, Ryuta. Are you here all day today? I want to hang out with Ryuta again, because he's so lovely. Uh, yep. The first day is always busy. Oh, well, I was going to ask you if you wanted to get lunch together, but... Sorry, Flora, maybe some other time? Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building over there. Okay, thanks. See you, Ryuta. I hope your mum's okay. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Mr. Nanaki, Happy New Year. Oh, hello, Scoppy. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes. Unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why did you take one? I will. Hmm. What should I take? Uh, this one. What am I getting? What am I getting? What am I getting? <gasps> Bork's blessing. Well, Bork is a cutie. Oh my gosh. I love it. Good, you got a better one than I did. I think this year will be a good one for you, Scoppy. Thank you, sir. Bling! Gosh, we are just burning through this now that there are so many situations I don't need to go through. <laughs> Still light out, so... Oh, are we going to get some seed? Ah, oh, yes! Leg legumentines. Legumentines. Yes, let's go and buy some beans for legumentines. Let's go, let's go, let's go them. Uh, here for the beans. Yes, is there some kind you think is particularly good? Yes, blah, 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 blibbity blue. I think I'll buy, okay. Bitter black beans, country millet, swollen hemp, raisin blood. Okay, that was for Ryuta. That is going to be for Akko <laughs> But what could be these guys? I mean, bitter black beans. I, g <sighs> see, I guess... Country millet. Oh, let's try the bitter black beans. I'll take these. Thank you, Miss. Here you are. Oh my God, what's gonna happen? I picked the right one. Ah, oh, today's the day. Preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special somebody. Oh, almost empty as always. And unsurprisingly, the heating doesn't work well in here, so the winter cold will stick around well through February. The pervading chill has earned the library the dubious honour of being the school's least popular place in winter. A few students here are huddled around the hinter. Oh god, should I have got some warming millet or whatever it was? Oh god, I've, I bet I'll have screwed this up. I'll bet I'll have screwed this up. Sitting in the frigid corner, far from the meagre efforts at the heater, as expected. Please be, be quiet in the library. Yeah, I know. 
Oh, can you somehow forgive my dreadful sin? Brr, it's cold in here. Are you okay, Nageki? I'm fine. Don't mind me, Miss Scoppy. Feel free to go sit by the heater if you're cold. No, I'm fine. My house doesn't have a heater at all. You should see it. Anyway, I have something to give you. I'm actually nervous IRL because I don't think I picked the right thing. It's leguminous, you know. Here. For me? Yep, you're supposed to give beans to the most important bird in your life today. Do you want them? Yes. Thank you. He wordlessly accepts the beans and stares at the package as if he doesn't know what to do with it. Maybe he's never, never gotten... Yeah. Maybe he's never gotten leguminous beans before? I hope he likes them. I actually do. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Lots of requested books are going to come in today. I'll have to work through lunch. Ah, sorting all of these takes forever. I think I'll just have the encyclopedias to do before I'm done. Huh? There's a note on the help desk counter. Um, Miss Scoppy, be here after the other students have left. Fujishiro Nageki. It reads like a challenge to a samurai duel. How fitting. I think this is the first time he's approached me. I wonder what it's all about. Oh my god. He's gonna throw the beans in my face and be like, You got me the wrong fucking beans! Uh, Nageki, are you still here? Nageki? V uh, Nageki! Hello, Miss Scoppy. You, you startled me! How long have you been standing there? From the very beginning. So, whatever. W w what do you need? I want to... Talk with you, Miss Scoppy. Talk with me? Continue our conversation. We were talking about bullying, I think? Oh god, he means a conversation from like um, months ago or something. Okay, I'm all ears, Nageki. I'm not sure where to start. I've noticed a lot since we last spoke together. Um, Miss Scoppy. Hmm? Let's... Go outside. <gasps> what? But he hates going outside. Come on. He stands up and walks over to the door. I follow, agitated. I'm excited. You, you first. Okay. Oh, boy. Why does he want to go out all of a sudden? I should be happy, but... Huh? What's, what's wrong? You said you wanted to come out here. He stands in the doorway, pushing against the open air. What are you doing? Mime? Watch. He walks back a little ways into the library and then runs forward, crashing into the air. Nageki, what? Thud! <gasps> oh my god, what is going on? He bounces off the invisible wall and falls back into the library. That's too good to be a mime act. As I thought, I can't leave. What? I can't leave this room. I wake up in this library and after a while I lose consciousness and wake up here again and so it repeats. I said I'd come to understand the truth by talking to you, Miss Scoppy. You've probably noticed too why no one else talks to me. That's because... They can't see you, you're quiet. Oh, I th oh, I'm the only one who can see you? Probably. New music. Oh, this is fucking exciting. I forgot why I was here. How I came to be stuck in this place. I've been alone here for years with no one to talk to. For years? My sense of time was broken. Oh my god, he faded away and then came back. I'm getting nervous. I can't feel or remember its passage. I've seen at least five school festivals go by. But then you came and talked to me. And I had no partner but myself for so long and suddenly you wouldn't leave me alone. <coughs> As I talked to you, I finally remembered why I can't leave. <coughs> I killed myself in this room. And so here I stay. My clock broke here, its hands turning meaninglessly, each day the same as the last. Alone. Forever. 
No one is bullying me or ignoring me. I'm not here to begin with. I have no regrets. It was my choice to end my life here after all. But I think I will miss you, Miss Scoppy. If I wasn't like this, I would... I would have liked to talk to you more, for longer. Nageki! I wrap my arms around him. I can feel him softly, but he's cold. At first, sitting here alone was painful, but I grew numb over time, ceased to feel the pain. That feeling that I thought I'd lost, it came back because of you. I I'll talk to you enough to make up for everyone else, Nageki. Maybe one day you'll be able to leave. No. Why not? As I talked to you, I changed. I didn't notice until recently. When you told me about this school, I was probably trying to take back the time I was never able to spend here. I never asked you to, but, but you relentlessly told me everything that was going on here. I already feel like I've spent a full year at this school. And now it's over. I think the clock's hands are going to stop soon. Nageki? His head is right next to mine, but his voice sounds muffled and distant. When I look down, his feet are already disappearing. Nageki, wait! We've, we've never talked like this before. I don't want this to be the last time. Don't cry, Miss Scoppy. I'm already long gone. There's no one here to mourn. There's just one thing I need to tell you before I go. The thing that I noticed. A secret that stopped my clock. No! No, don't say it, Nageki! I... As I filled up, I grew closer to disappearing. You're the one who made me disappear, Miss Coppy. I can't stop it now. But I still have so many things to tell you! You've already given me more than enough. I'm satisfied. The secret... Thank you. I love you. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> well, that came more suddenly, I guess, than Ryuta's thing. Well, I guess Ryuta's felt more gradual because... Because I didn't skip through all the bits that I'd already seen. Uh, damn. Poor Nageki. Poor Nageki. Everyone in this everyone in this game is gonna have mad drama. I wonder what Oko san's drama is. Oh golly. Do we have another sweet picture? <gasps> Dreams end. Oh, so this is 04. So we have the num the we have the ending numbers. We have the endings numbered. So this was the fourth end. Dreams end. At least we don't have another gravestone, but jeez. Are all these things going to end with death? I've got a bad feeling about this. You know what? I've never gone in here before. What's archive? What? Ooh. It's, it's something. What's this? Ooh. We have examined the genetic records of the entire student body. None of them exceed 98% compatibility. We are continuing to investigate carrier aptitude levels. We will report on the possibility of inducing carrier capability in a normal individual next week. Whoa. Carrier? Now, doesn't that... Isn't carrier, like, that? that's connected to, like, disease? Like, people who carry kind of, like, conditions and stuff? Whoa, wait a second. Now, what's here? Control? Evolve? No longer. Oh god damn, there is some dicey science shit going on there. Oh. I've been feeling better since that nosy girl showed up. Oh Nageki! I do not think I will find any answers like this, so perhaps it is time to close the curtains. I am fulfilled just as I was back then. Back then? Back when? Oh Damn. All this stuff. Hmm. There's a feather in this inkwell. Isn't that kind of weird? Whatever.